Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and divinity and wisdom and strength and honor. Alleluia. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear friends, in order to worthily celebrate this Mass, we call to mind our sins. I confess, so mighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, we pray, that being rightly conformed to the Paschal Mysteries, what we celebrate in joy may protect and save us with perpetual power. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The, apostle, the Apostles and Presbyters, in agreement with the whole church, decided to choose representatives and send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The ones chosen were Judas, who was called Barsabbas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers. This is the letter delivered by them. The Apostles and the Presbyters, your brothers, to the brothers in Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia, of Gentile origin, greetings. Since we have heard that some of our number who went out without any mandate from us have upset you with their teachings and disturbed your peace of mind, we have with one accord decided to choose representatives and to send them to you along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, who have dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord, Jesus Christ. We are sending Judas and Silas, who will also convey this same message by word of mouth. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us not to place on you any burden beyond these necessities, namely, to abstain from meat sacrificed to idols, from blood, from meats of strangled animals, and from unlawful marriage. If you keep free of these, you will be doing what is right. Farewell. And so they were sent on their journey. Upon their arrival in Antioch, they called the assembly together and delivered the letter. When the people read it, they were delighted with the exhortation. The word of the Lord. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. My heart is steadfast, O God, my heart is steadfast. I will sing and chant praise. Awake, O my soul, awake, lyre and harp. I will wake the dawn. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will give thanks to you among the peoples, O Lord. I will chant your praise among the nations. For your mercy towers to the heavens and your faithfulness to the skies. Be exalted above the heavens, O God, above all the earth be your glory. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord.
Alleluia, alleluia. I call you friends, says the Lord, for I have made known to you all that the Father has told me. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment, love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain so that whatever you ask the father in my name, he may give you. This is a command you love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. We hear this powerful words from our Lord Jesus Christ this morning as he said, I no longer call you slaves, but I call you my friends. As we all have experienced what friendship is all about, we may consider it as something that is very meaningful that happened in our own very lives. To find friends is to find nearness, to experience and receive intimacy. And at the same time, also, we are able to receive and experience certain familiarity, which is a privilege, of course, as we build our personal relationship and friendship with our friends. And this is the mind of our Lord Jesus. It is friendship that he offers to his disciples because he has revealed everything about his Father to his disciples. This words from our Lord Jesus is an encounter more than an invitation. It is an experience firsthand from his disciples. And we know for sure there are still lots of things that his disciples were able to see and encounter with Jesus aside from those who were written here in the scriptures. Truly it is an experience and a privilege to be an apostle, to be a disciple of Jesus. But his disciples themselves was able to radiate, witness, and share this kind of experience in the first Christian communities. And here we could say, no wonder the early Christians just grow so fast because they have just perfectly resonated on the very heart of our Lord Jesus. My dear friends, let us continue to reflect and discern these words from our Father. There is no other way to build the kingdom of God among us as fellow disciples of the Lord than to experience that same friendship that the Lord Jesus is offering to his disciples. May the friendship of God grow among us as we experience his love within us. Christ calls us his friends and commands us to love one another. Let us show that love by the sincerity of our prayer.
that those called to preach the gospel in any way may proclaim the good news of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That political leaders may fear God and do what is in accord with the words of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That married couples may take to heart our Lord's command to love one another, even in the most trying situations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the handicapped may find love in those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may grant eternal peace to our departed brethren. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Edward Brzezinski, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the names and petitions written in our book of prayers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Silently, we present our petitions to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, hear our prayers. Let your love grow in us. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Make me a channel of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me bring your love. Where there is injury, your pardon, Lord. And where there's doubt, true faith in you. Make me a channel. Pray, my dear brethren, may sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Graciously sanctify this gift, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice. Make of us an eternal offering to you, to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in his time above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed. And integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with the paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, whose Son are in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took the bread and giving thanks and broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. To this, in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Barry, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life. And may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At a Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say. <clears throat> thy kingdom come, thy will be done, honored as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await a blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. My dear friends, let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The body of Christ. 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 Christ. About a 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 Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body Christ. The body of 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 Christ.
She go to the sea in the homebound, taking not only the sacrament we have celebrated, but also the word of God which we have heard, as well as the affection of the parish community. As for the prayers of those whom you have visited in return, go now with God's peace and blessing. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring the Lord that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. A holy mass has been offered when I go in the peace and love of Christ. Amen.